All right. Hi guys, so we are a couple of minutes later just because um, Jared and I were trying to get a couple of things organized. There are only a couple of us on right now because apparently the wrong link has been sent out. So what we're gonna do is we will get started and do a little bit of a warm up and then people are gonna uh, hopefully join as we go through. So uh, my name is Samara Hill. I was originally uh, playing this season with the NBL One women's team. Unfortunately, our season got cut, as, as yours did, I'm sure. Um, so I'm just going to run you through some ball handling and a little bit of footwork today. Um, so good job for jumping on, and we shall get started. First of all, do you guys have two basketballs or just yeah. the one? Yeah. My one doesn't work. Yeah, I'll get you the other one. Okay. Go away, dog. Go away. Go away. Pets are all welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Perfect. Okay, I got my two bucks. Good job. All right. We've all got our two basketballs. Have you got a water bottle? Yeah. Yeah. Water bottle? Perfect. Okay. So the first thing we are about to do is our warm up. And obviously it's quite cold at the moment. So we want to make sure we get a good sweat and heart rate up. So we're just going to start with some jumping jacks first. So if I'm going to step back and if you just want to copy me, I'll talk you guys through it as we go. All right, so just starting with our jumping jacks. All right, and let's get in some quick squats. Good job. Okay, next we're going to do some windmills. So you need your arms out wide, legs spread, and you're going to go straight down to your toes. Okay, cross your body, hand to toe. All right, and then you can speed it up. The next thing I want you to do is come up onto your tippy toes and just walk around a little bit. You're going to look like a bit of a penguin, but we're just going to walk around. Get those calves warmed up. And same thing, but on your heels. So just put your toes up and walk around on your heels. All right, and let's get back to our jumping jacks now. Okay, how do we all feel? Feeling pretty warm? <laughs> yep, perfect. Who do I have in here at the moment? Oh, great, we've got some people. Good job, guys. Okay, now I know that we're all at different levels and different age groups, so what we're going to be doing is a little bit of um, single hand ball handling, and then we're going to go into two balls. Okay, 
doesn't matter what level you're at, what I want you to do is try and push yourself as far as you can go, okay? You'll see me sweating and I might lose the ball occasionally, okay? It's because I'm trying to push myself, right? And that's all we can ask for when we are doing these sorts of drills. So no matter where you're at, if, even if you don't think you can do it or you're not quite up to it, just give it a go, right? That's all I'm gonna ask of you guys at the moment. So can we all grab just one basketball for the time being? and we will get started. Does everyone have their ball? Looks like it, all right, great. So to start off, all we are doing is body wraps, all right? So just around the waist, and once you have your wrap going, we wanna try and speed it up. All right, make sure we're going light on the fingertips here. Run away, paper. Keep going. All right, and reverse. Good job. I'm seeing some great body wraps here. All right, we're really just trying to warm up our fingertips. All right, now let's head down to our knees. Try and keep your head up and really get those fingertips working. Good job. All right, and reverse it. Well done, I see some good wraps going on. All right, and the next one is just around the head. Try not to come too far, as you can see. You don't want to be coming too far above your head. You want to try and get it all the way around. Try and keep your head still. Good job and reverse your wrap. There we go, okay. We're about to put all of those together and go a full body wrap. So we're gonna start at the waist, down to the legs, around the waist and to the head, okay? Once you get your rhythm, you can then speed it up. Really try and get going here. All right, and let's reverse it. Good job, guys. Well done, all right. Shake yourself out, shake your arms out, your legs. All right, now our next one, we're still just doing passes, so the ball shouldn't be hitting the ground. We're just gonna do a figure eight, okay? So we wanna make sure that we're down in our stance, right? We don't wanna be leaning over too far. We wanna be sitting back, down in our stance, feet with shoulder width apart, and then we're gonna do a figure eight wrap, okay? So you can start with it pretty slow, make sure we're down in our stance, and then once you get your rhythm, speed it on up. Good job. Oh, 
How are we going with that? Keep going. I'm just gonna check some others. Good job, girls. Awesome. Well done, all right. Now the very last one we're gonna do right here with uh, our passing is just a bit of a ball tip, okay? So you wanna keep it to the fingertips and you're really just passing it back and forward. All right, if you're anything like me, you've got freezing hands, this is a really good way of warming them up. Okay, so once we have our passing, we're gonna go to up and down. Don't worry if you lose it, happens all the time. Just really trying to warm up our fingertips here. All right, good job. How are we all going? Are we all warm? Yep, thumbs up if we're warm. Perfect. All right, so we're gonna start with our single ball handling for the moment. And all I want you to do is get into the stance and on your right hand, we're gonna dribble it very low below the knee, okay? Let's make sure we're not leaning forward. We're in a stance, back straight. We're just gonna pound the ball as quick as we can, all right? Does anyone have any questions? No, nope, all good? Okay, I will then talk you through the rest of it. So we're just gonna start with pounding the ball. Okay, now to the waist, a little bit higher. Really pound the ball. Now make sure we're in our stance. All right, next one, to the shoulder, a little bit higher. All right, try and keep control of it. Yeah, really pound the ball. All right, and to the left, we're gonna start low. Little dribbles with our fingertips. So we're in our stance, arm bar, and up. All right. Good job. And to the waist. Higher now. Make sure we've still got our knees bent. Back straight. Good job. And last one to the shoulder. Really pound the ball. All right, and shake the legs out. You can grab a drink real quick if you need one. All right, while we're getting a drink, our next one is gonna be exactly the same, but with our crossover. So let's make sure we're in our stance again. All right, back straight. What we wanna be doing is crossing it over below the knee, okay? When I say switch, we're gonna to go to the waist a little bit higher. Make sure we're pounding it and getting it really out wide, but the crossover low, okay? So we want to be pulling it out wide, but our crossover needs to be below the knee, all right? And then for the last one, you're going to go shoulder. So really pounding the ball and bringing it all the way up, all right? 
still, the crossover needs to be below the knee, but the ball's gonna come up higher, all right? Is everyone good to go? Yep. Perfect, all right, let's get into it. So we're gonna start with below the knee. Really what? Sorry, here goes my drink bottle. Okay, so really wide and low crossovers. All right, once you get your rhythm, you can then start to speed it up. And to the waist. So a little bit higher now. Your crossover is still going to be low, but you want the ball to be coming up higher to the waist. All right, make sure we're still getting the ball out wide, using our fingertips and lowering our stance. Okay, and finally the shoulders, All right? We still want to be low. Don't come out of your stance, but the ball's going to come higher. Good job. Getting some awesome crossovers here. All right, and shake it out. How are we all feeling? Getting up a bit of a sweat? Cool. Okay, so our, whoops, where am I? Okay, so our next one is we are going to be doing some crossovers between the legs and then we're gonna split and jump to the other side, okay? If you don't feel like you're comfortable in doing the split, that's fine. All right, you're going to start with just crossovers between the legs, okay? So it's like a normal crossover, you're just going between the leg, all right? Once you have that down, if you feel like you can do that comfortably, you're going to start to split, all right? So jump with the crossover, okay? But again, if you want to start with just the leg, that's completely fine, all right? So let's get to it. We'll start with the leg first. All right, once you get comfortable, then you can add in the split. All right, we wanna try and get our dribbles quicker and quicker as we go. All right, if you're not onto the split yet, then swap legs. Good job. And for the last couple of seconds, I want everyone to just try and do the split, okay? Even if you're not comfortable with it, just put it in, see how far you can get with it, all right? So just with the split. All right, keep going. Good job, girls. Well done. Awesome job. I'm seeing some really great ball work here. All right. Good job, girls. Grab yourself a drink if you need one. All right. If you have a second basketball, I want you to go and grab it. Is there anyone who doesn't have a second basketball? No? Okay. So with our two balls, we're gonna do really quickly is go through our dribbles below the knee, at our waist, at our shoulders, all right? Once we've done those together, we're gonna to alternate, same thing, okay? Below the knees alternate, at the waist alternate, at the shoulders alternate, all right? 
when we're doing this, I want you to keep in mind that you should be in your stance the entire time. So even if you get a bit tired, make sure we're working on our legs and getting into that stance. I want you guys to try and push yourselves as hard as you can at the moment because without pushing yourself, it's really hard to get better. So we're gonna start with two balls at the same time and then I'll uh, talk you through our next movements, okay? So with both balls, let's start together. Really pound the ball, low dribbles. To the shoulders. Good job. Back down to the knees and we're going to alternate. Try and get them as low as you can. Get them as you can. And to the waist. Job. Quick shake out. Okay, the next one here is our windscreen wipers. So both balls are going to come in front of us and cross over but stay at the same width. And let's make sure we're still in our stance. And if you get comfortable with it, try and push it out further. All right, really wide. Yeah. All right, and the next one, same thing, but at our sides. All right, so on both sides, we're going to go back and forth. Yes. All right, and one here, we're going to do crossovers. So one ball can stay in front, all right? So if I have my left hand as the front ball, it's going to stay that way when it comes back. Okay, so we're going to get down in our stance and cross over. Can everyone see how that ball stays in the front? Don't worry if you don't feel like you're quite up to it, just give it a go. How are we going? Keep going, girls. Awesome job. Seeing some really good crossovers here. Well done, Cody. Awesome, Summer. I think I've got people's names, but they could be a parent. So let me know if I'm wrong. Well done, girls. All right, for the last couple of minutes, I want to get into some footwork. So it's going to be really quick because we don't have much time. But what I need you to do is put down one of your basketballs. So put it somewhere safe that it's not going to roll in front of you. Okay, 
what I want to do is we're going to take one dribble, okay? So you can go to your right or your left, I don't mind. You can switch it up halfway through. We're going to take one dribble. We're going to take two retreats, all right? And then you're going to do some kind of crossover. So whether that be just a straight normal crossover, whether it be between the legs, whether it be behind the back, okay? So you're taking one dribble, two retreat, crossover, and explode out of it, okay? You might want to give yourself a little bit of room. We want to make sure that our ball handling is in tight and we're explosive with our moves, okay? So one dribble, one, two, crossover, and explode, okay? You can just walk back to where you were. One dribble, one, two, cross over, explode. Try and get in three more if you can. Really mix up the crossovers as well. And last one. All right, good job, girls. That brings us to pretty much the end of our session. So grab yourself your water bottle, all right? And you can unmute yourself. If you have any questions, let me know. Did everyone enjoy the session? Yes, no? Yes. Maybe? Yes. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Yeah. And it's really great to see you guys, especially when things are so tough at the moment. So while you can, Keep jumping onto these sessions, get your workouts in, and then by the time this is all over, you'll be right back into it. Yeah. All right. So, this is a girls only session, right? Yeah. First yeah. of its kind. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Good job, girls. Uh, if these are all drills that I still do um, now, even as a senior. <laughs> So there's no limit to how much you can practice these fundamentals. All right. So I'm going to jump off right up and keep working. Thank you. 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 Thank you.